Securities offered through T.J. Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. Content is intended to provide accurate information, however, is not intended as financial, tax, or legal advice. Please consult a financial, legal, or tax professional for specific information regarding your individual situation. Opinions expressed and provided are for general informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Welcome to Protect and Grow with Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns of TJ Stearns Incorporated. Trust, respect, and results. TJ Stearns Incorporated focuses on comprehensive financial planning and benefits. And welcome into the program. This is Protect and Grow Chicago Land Retirement with Chicago Land's Certified Financial Planner CFP Tim Stearns, President and Founder of TJ Stearns Inc. Tim, we always appreciate the time. Welcome back to the program. Hey, Peter. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Now, Tim, I know we want to get to taxes today. It's on everybody's mind. We're in the midst of tax season. You've got a list of the different forms, and we'll maybe cover a couple of those that are common and that we use pretty frequently. But before we get to that, I do want to talk about the market because we have seen some volatility and a lot of folks are reasonably worried and concerned about the stability of the market or where it could go. And I know that you help people to not control the market, can't do that, but control the amount of risk and exposure that we have when we invest in the market. That's that's true, Peter. Uh, you know, one of the things we, uh, it's funny you bring that up today, but just this past week in the office, we had a a person that was really concerned about having too much money in their 401k. And, uh, you know, they had come in from the radio show and it turned out they're over 59 and a half. And lucky enough that their company allowed the um, in-service distribution withdrawal that they could move it into an IRA that we could actually put stop losses on, uh, put it in some things that were not correlated to the market. You know, right now, what I'm seeing in most 401ks is everything's correlated, whether it's stocks, bonds, you know, they make up the mutual funds and they're going to go down when the market goes down. And that's where you get your volatility from. Um, the other thing a lot of people don't realize is the Fed has said they're going to raise interest rates at least three times this year. And when the Fed raises interest rates, that makes the current value of bonds go down. It's not an if, it's a when. So we try to explain that to people that if you have a 59 and a half uh, opportunity, get your money out of out of your current 401k, open the world to other things that you could be doing smarter with your money. You know, if I'm 60 years old, I'm about to retire and we have another correction like we had in 2007 through 2009, you know, that that's catastrophic. You know, what do you do? You keep working just so that you can, you know, prop up your 401k. That's horrific. Yeah. For folks that did unfortunately retire in 2006, the trajectory of their retirement was really impacted by those first couple years of retirement and the down markets that ensued. And for those that planned on retiring in 2008 or nine, for a lot of them, they had been pretty shell-shocked about the losses that had yeah. at that point in time already been experienced. And, and many of them delayed retirement for several years, five or more years in some cases, just to get back to where they had been previously. So Tim, that that zone right around the retirement time, five to 10 years before retirement, five to 10 years after retirement, there is a different phase of our financial life where maybe we're still saving, maybe we're still contributing, but we need to protect more of what we have built so far, the preservation stage. It doesn't just go straight from accumulation to then withdrawing from funds and distribution. It's, it's interesting. What, what a, you know, we call that the red zone in our retirement classes, uh, which again, we're holding uh, in person. They're outstanding. Um, we can also do Zooms with people. But anyway, what we're seeing a lot is that, you know, people are, are realizing that that's a true issue and, you know, how to, how to do it, you know, we'll help them the whole step of the way. Well, again, if you've got questions, if you've got concerns about market volatility, about income, about investments, about taxes, we'll talk more about taxes today, uh, about healthcare planning and protection, about legacy creation, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call. He does offer to help you review 
analyze, assess, and then put a plan together to improve each one of those areas. That's the Protect and Grow plan offered exclusively through TJ Stearns, Inc. If you would like to have that plan, that strategy session, and that time with a certified financial planner, just give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. Now, Tim, you did bring along a list of the common tax forms. I've got to say the list is 13 pages long. Basically, if, if there's a circumstance in life, there's a tax form for it. That's a true story. And I, I basically we've covered the gamut here and I'd I'd tell anybody out there, if they want to uh, give us a call and let us know that they'd like to see what we have. Um, We also have a really great fact sheet on, you know, what you can put in a 401k if you're over 50, what you can do there. We have a couple of different, I'll call them cheat sheets that can really make things kind of easy for people to understand because, you know, the IRS code is all based on numbers, right? 401k, for example, 403b, et cetera. So why not, you know, have something so you know exactly why it's called that? Uh, and, and, you know, we have a couple of sheets that we can email to people. We also have the book we'd love to get into people's hands. We can do it digitally now, um, which is great. And then we also have the book in hard copy in the office that we can get to them via mail or if they'd like to come in and see us and kind of go over some of these uh, sheets and then also get the book from us, we're happy to do that too. Again, that book, a fantastic read, an essential retirement planning strategy guidebook, income allocation is available to the first 10 callers to today's program with at least 500,000 saved for retirement. If that is you and you would like to learn how to address some of the biggest challenges in modern retirement, pick up the phone, give a call, request your copy of income allocation, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. Now, Tim, a couple of these tax forms that we do receive a lot of questions about, there's some confusion about 1099 R's. Those are distributions or any money that has moved out of a retirement account. And then if you roll that money into a retirement account, in other words, if we're, if we're just doing a rollover or a transfer to continue the tax deferred status, we don't owe anything when we do that not at the moment anyway on taxes, but that 5498 form basically is one that a lot of people have questions about where it's at and what it does. Well, the 5498 is going to tell you what you had in your uh, tax, your tax uh, deferred account, like a 401k or an IRA for uh, on 1231 of 2021. And then if you're over 72 years old, then they would tell you also what you need to take out this year as a required minimum distribution. Now, some companies, the onus is on the client to get the money out of that, or you know, some companies will kick the money out as a required minimum distribution if you're over the age of 72. The last thing you want to do is not do that required minimum distribution because the penalties are 50% of what you should have taken out, and it goes to your income. So you lose a lot of money out of that. So you need to make sure that your advisor currently is is up to date on, you know, how much you need to take out, you know, and if that's one company, and then you have another, you have a 401k and so on and so forth at other places, every one of those has to take out a required minimum distribution if you're over 72. We know that uh, for some folks, they're already meeting and surpassing those needs to take distributions from their IRAs and tax deferred accounts. Some of us, though, don't necessarily need that income At a certain point in time at 72, the IRS begins requiring it. And sometimes that's a a little bit of a shock to the system, Tim, because that can actually cause a lot of other implications with our total taxable situation. Right. And then that's an issue for people who are receiving pensions, Social Security, all that type of thing. You know, my, my dad was a railroad conductor and, you know, he would always have to take his RMDs out, you know, and he had a railroad pension. These are the type of things that all go into the kitty that you're gonna to have to pay to the IRS for taxes. So you have to make sure that you're knowing exactly what you're doing. And you know, speaking of that, it is tax season. We see everyone being reactionary. I mean, this is where the rubber meets the road and you're figuring out what you need to pay. You know, Get ahead of it for next year. So you know exactly what you need to withhold, what you don't need to withhold so that the money's yours. Um, it drives me crazy when people brag to me and say, oh, after I file my taxes, I get money back from the IRS. Well, then you just gave them a loan tax-free to the federal government, who a lot of times they don't spend their money correctly. So why, why not keep more of what, you're, you know, what is yours? 
Uh, and, I, and it drives me nuts when people do that. Well, this year, the taxpayers have until Monday, April 18th, in order to file those taxes, to submit them, to get the forms in. And for many proactive uh, filers, maybe they're already in the process, or some of us maybe even have those completed. But sometimes forms do come in a little later, and you can make certain changes up until that tax filing deadline. Um, Hopefully, most of us get it in sooner rather than later, but for those procrastinators, that's the deadline. And then, Tim, some of us will even file for extensions, and you've got some important reminders if anybody does do an extension. Right. I mean, if you do do an extension, you have till October 15th in most cases, depending on what you have going on. Um, but if you're just an individual taxpayer with a spouse, that's that's about what it is. But, you know, I always tell people, you know, try to get your st stuff in order, you know, during the year so that when this time of year comes around, you're on to bigger and better th things and not trying to play catch up. Yeah. And that the extension is not for the payment. It's only for the paperwork. And that's, that's also an important reminder is that yes, you can delay actually filing the paperwork, but if you don't make the payment that that paperwork says that you owe, there will be some taxes and penalties and interest added on. Exactly. And that's, those are things people need to be cognizant of. Uh, you know, people are, you know, death and taxes, right? You, you really can't get around it. You know, you might skirt it, but they might catch up with you. So you need to be careful how you're trying to do things. Well, Tim, there is a big difference between the tax preparation and tax planning. I think that for those that are doing tax preparation, the accountants, the CPAs, those that help us to file, they probably need to know and be aware of all of these forms that are on your 13 page list of the, of the various tax forms. But right. for proactive planning purposes, we really need to take a forward looking approach rather than a historical approach of knowing what box to put things in. Right. And that's, and that's very important to know that, you know, um, we have a CPA here, thankfully, that keeps our clients on, on track and kind of on the mark so that they know exactly what is what. A lot of these people are, you know, I, you know, I, I appreciate using TurboTax and some of these companies that do it yourselfers out there, but there's something to be said for having someone who's a very good CPA to help you do your taxes. And if you don't have one, we have a great one. And Joe takes care of all of our clients extensively. Well, if you would like the help and the assistance of a certified financial planner with that tax professional there as well, helping to provide guidance and perspective on how to make the best use of your money, your investment tools and options, and to do so in a tax efficient manner, pick up the phone and give Tim Stearns and TJ Stearns Inc. a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. The tax planning, Tim, is very important because basically with every dollar, it's pay me now or pay me later. And right. especially if we have already put a good chunk of money into the pay me later category, right now may be some fantastic opportunity to go ahead and pay the least amount possible really over our lifetimes. By doing Roth conversions, is that what you're speaking of? Yeah, absolutely. Or at least yeah. looking at that that liability and planning for it ahead of time. Yes, it's a great exercise to at least go through the exercise. But more importantly, if you can do it, I mean, why not nibble on that tax bill that you've created? I mean, we've been pounded in our head so many years now to defer, defer, defer. And then, when, you know, the chickens come home to roost. It's like, oh, gosh, I have to pay money on this huge thing that I, I built over the years. You know, people were introduced to the 401k in 1978, and you're looking at people now that have, besides their house, their largest asset is going to be, you know, their 401k, and you got to pay the tax man, and that there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We hear a lot, Tim, about the difference between active and passive income, and mm -hmm. kind of point to note is that when we take active income, our wages, and we put them in a 401k or an IRA, that actually does not turn it into passive income. That simply delays the taxation of active income to a later 
point in time. There are some other places that we can put our money to work for us and then get passive income from them. And there are some advantages there as well. But we do need to realize that that is going to be taxed fully as income later down the road if it's in a tax deferred account. Right. And then and we, I, I always tell my clients, you know, if they're still actively working, look into the Roth 401k. It's a great opportunity to, to build that because otherwise you're dealing with Irma when you get to be 65, which a lot of people are not familiar with that. I marvel at our classes. Most people don't even know what the SECURE Act is. It's been around, you know, since December of 2019, you know, so these are things that are affecting people. You know, if you start doing Roth 401ks or even a Roth, if you're able to do it financially, uh, but based on your incomes, it's a great thing to, to add a legacy if you want, where you don't have to take your, your heirs will not have to take money out. Uh, you know, they'll have to drain it in 10 years from when you pass because of the SECURE Act. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a great opportunity for right now. Well, let's talk a little bit more about some of those opportunities. And ladies and gentlemen, for you and your situation, if you would like to identify where they can be advantageous for you, where you can take advantage, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns and TJ Stearns Inc. a call. You can have a certified financial planner help to review and look over your situation, your financial choices, your investment options, and make sure that you are making the best decisions and the most tax efficient decisions with your money. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. And Tim, I guess as, as we are having this conversation about what opportunities we have today, first and foremost, Foremost, premising this conversation with a, a little bit of a nod to and a recognition of where taxes are today and where they may go from here. Interesting you bring that up. Uh, we ask people at our classes all the time, what do you think taxes are going to do? And they all give us the thumbs up that's going to go up. It doesn't matter your political party or anything like that. Everyone knows that we have a huge deficit and we're going to need to raise taxes to pay for that. So we remind them that the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 will actually sunset unless they do something prior to that in 2026. So January 1st, 2026, we'll revert back from a 12% tax rate goes to 15. The 22 goes to 25. The 24% tax rate goes to 28. These are things that right now we know what taxes are. So why not pay, you know, if you know what you're going to pay on a Roth conversion, we always are explaining to people, you know, fill the bucket up to that level where you're not going into a new tax bracket. And that that's huge. So again, Roth conversions may be a great idea looking at how to control your total lifelong tax liability by using up available room within the current bracket, Roth contributions, putting new dollars in on an ongoing basis. Uh, and, and really, Tim, understanding what this means right now and the opportunity, it kind of comes down to understanding your current income and tax bracket and then projecting out where you will be likely to fall in 2026 and beyond, and especially right. during and throughout retirement. Well, you know, the, the misnomer that I, I hear time and time again is people are, well, I'll be in a lower tax bracket. And that might be the case. But most of the time when we do income allocation for people, the actual plan, once we add up all the different dollars, I mean, they're still kind of in that same tax bracket. You know, maybe not out to the penny, but it's going to be in that, in that realm where you're still paying taxes. So why not convert some of this money while you can? Uh, you know, you can definitively tell yourself what you owe. Uh, you know, instead of hoping for the best down the road, the taxes might go down. I, I highly doubt that will happen. Well, Tim, even if our income does put us in a lower bracket, if those brackets adjust, we may be paying more in tax. You mentioned that in 2026, the 22% bracket becomes the 25. Well, currently right. we have a 24% bracket. So if we're right. currently in the 24% bracket, we could actually drop brackets and still be paying a higher effective tax rate, that actually probably makes for some good opportunity within those two brackets, the 22 and 24, for the yep. next four years to do some proactive tax control. Yeah, unfortunately, people procrastinate, you know, and they're, they're missing out on opportunities. You couple it with this opportunity right now, 
and then you you put it with the Secure Act, it only makes sense to try to do some Roth conversions. I'm not taking. I'm not saying take your whole 401k and do something like that. I'm talking about actually, you know, nibbling on that tax bill because you know you're not going to take a million dollars and convert it to a Roth. That's insane because then you're right back, you know, paying higher taxes. But every year, if you if you have a spouse, you can start to uh, put put some money in a Roth conversion to make it so that you know it grows tax deferred, and then down the road, if you're pulling money out of it, it's tax free. And it's not going to hurt you when it comes to the medical, uh, sur- excuse me, the Medicare sur- surcharge tax that people are not really aware of right now. Well, we are talking with Tim Stern, certified financial planner, about some strategic opportunities, ladies and gentlemen. And if you would like to identify which opportunities could be advantageous for you, could help you be more efficient, to leverage your dollars, to keep more of them, pick up the phone and give a call, 800 640 2256. That's 800 640 2256. So, Tim, I think we've talked about making ongoing contributions as much as possible to tax advantaged accounts. Uh, where possible, we can up those contribution levels. And I know the 401k, we can do about $1,000 more this year as opposed to last year. But how about doubling up on those contributions? Uh, For most of us, if we ask uh, our, our, our resource, our accountant, our CPA, how much can I get into, for instance, a Roth IRA, they may tell us, well, you're over 50, your limit is 7,000. And that's sort of the end of the, the answer. But there's actually more to that story where we could get more in under certain circumstances. That's right. And right now, up until April 15th, if you didn't put any money in for 2021, you can make uh, doubling up your contributions two years worth up until April uh, 15th. Well, in this case, this year, it's April 18th, Monday. But at the end of the day, you have, you know, you're able to do 2021 and 2022, but you have to have them in by April 18th. And Tim, there may be a situation where a married couple only has one person who's out actively earning income or one person has not made retirement contributions. There's nothing to say that we can't make that contribution for our spouse as well, do do spousal contributions and double up even from there. So four times the amount into a, a qualified tax advantaged account. You know, and if you get used to doing that, I mean, you're putting money away to tax deferred every year. It's a great opportunity. And then, you know, of course, the Roth, if you're able to do that based on your income, even better. Well, again, if you would like to learn more about these opportunities, these strategies, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. But Tim, bottom line, somewhere between six to 7,000, depending on our age, all the way up right. to 24 to 28,000, money that could get to work for your retirement. For a lot of us who are trying to make as much progress as possible, a, a pretty sizable chunk and, and opportunity there. And certainly could give us some improvement over just sitting the money in cash. If we've got excess over and above our emergency account, kind of just sitting in the bank, this may be a fantastic chance to get that money working a little harder for us. Well, with inflation being, you know, very high nowadays, I mean, six, 7%, people are saying it might settle in, you know, in the three to fours, experts are saying, you know, if you have money sitting in the bank, it's literally lazy money. It's losing you value you know, by not earning anything. So these are the opportunities that we talk to people about that get the money off the sidelines and get it into something where at least you earn better than inflation. Otherwise that dollar is depreciating as you speak. And Tim, parents or grandparents who are looking to do something for children or grandchildren may have some opportunities. You could really get the foundation for their retirement funding going as well. We can uh, open custodial retirement accounts for our children or grandchildren. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that we've seen also is people using required minimum distributions, taking the money out, putting it towards a 529 maybe for a grandkid or taking money out and putting it if the kid is working, you know, maybe even a high schooler, uh, take that money out of your RMD, your required minimum distribution and putting it in an IRA for them. I mean, these are great, you know, and, and, and what a gift that is, you know, to put money in for a, a kid for Roth. I do it for both of my boys that, that have jobs. Um, you know, they're under the age of 22, but they're still working. So why not put the money away? Well, and for proactive, savvy and prepared investors, there can be opportunity 
even in the midst of market volatility, Tim, we started off the program talking about how we were concerned and we're hearing a lot of concern out there about the stability of the market and the volatility that we have seen as yep. of late. But if we are prepared, if we are proactive, downturns in the market can actually be a fantastic opportunity to do some tax damage control. I agree. Uh, you buy in the dips, as they say, right? So that's something that you should be doing. Uh, unfortunately, with if you're still in a 401k, you're just kind of dollar cost averaging. If the market's high, you're buying less. If the market's low, you're buying more. You know, So if you have a 59 and a half loophole that you can take your money out and in service distribution, right now is the time to do it. You can get into something and get the lift in the market when it comes back. Yeah. So if I've, I've got $100,000 and the market does fall and now that IRA account is only worth 75. I mean, I'd rather have the 100,000, but I'd rather pay tax on the 75. Right. Exactly. And move, move that over, convert that during the downturn and let the recovery happen in a tax-free account. Right. If, if you're not seizing on these opportunities that, that the market's giving us, then shame on you. And if your advisors aren't telling you, then shame on them. These are times that, that you need to be you know, strategic, active, and tactical. That's what we do. And again, uh, Tim, for those looking for as much progress as they can make for every opportunity, there is nothing that says that we can't do both a 401k and an IRA simultaneously. A lot of people uh, are, are unaware of that or think that they may be eliminated for, from one just because they do the other. There are some, some income rules and restrictions and limitations, but just because we have a 401k does not mean that we can't also do some personal retirement funding. Exactly. And, you know, check with your CPA, your, your tax preparer. Uh, you know, we, we check with ours with each client that comes in to see if these are opportunities that we should strike on and, and make sure we take advantage. Finally, Tim, what about the marketing that we are hearing that the government is coming after our IRA or our retirement account? Do you put any credence in that? Or is there a seed or kernel of truth there? And do we need to be aware of that? Or is that simply fear mongering and marketing? Well, it seems to be the, the uh, flavor of the day is fear mongering. Um, I don't think that they're coming after our uh, assets per se, but they are going to make tax rates go up. And that, that is something, I mean, whether it's one way or the other, you're still losing out on some of the money that you've, that you've put away to earn for your retirement. And then they're taking more of it. That doesn't seem very fair. So I would like to see tax rates stay where they are now, but they're the lowest they've been in 80 years. So this is the time to take advantage of these things and get after it. Do not procrastinate. As we continue through our financial progress, we all want to identify the opportunities to be smarter with our money and tax season represents one of those continuing ongoing reminders that we probably can do better things with our money. So as, as we are awaiting all the documents or getting ready to file and put away, or even if we already have, let's also remember that we need to assess our total planning, not just what happened last year, but how we are positioning ourselves for years to come. And certified financial planner Tim Stearns can make sure that you're making well thought through and informed decisions and being as efficient as possible with your money. He also does offer that book, Income Allocation, if you would like the Protect and Grow plan. If you would like to attend one of the Re Rethink Retirement courses, if you would like that book, Income Allocation, pick up the phone, give a call, any of those, all of those available for listeners to the program today, those that are taking proactive steps to improve your financial outlook, pick up the phone and give a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, we always appreciate your time, your guidance, your perspective here on the program. Thanks, Peter. Tune into Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stern's full radio program on 890 WLS every Sunday at 11 a.m. and visit tjsterns.com for many valuable resources, including other great episodes of Chicagoland Retirement. Be sure to subscribe. Securities offered through TJ Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature and not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment and security 
securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs.